Hey Virgo, how are you? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. I just did a giveaway in October on my Instagram page. So if you're interested, I do a giveaway every month. Um, the Instagram is in the description box below. I do not post tarot on my Instagram. All right, Virgo, if at any time you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get into it and see what is the energy that's currently surrounding Virgo or on its way to Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know? All right, you have soulmates with the number 41, which also gives me the number five. So there could be some type of shift taking place in a soulmate connection for you. And then you have by the book. All right, with the number 11. I'm going to read them, but I, right off the bat, I'm getting this energy that there's something here that it is, it's being followed in a specific order. And I'm being shown that maybe that order is too rigid and there's a need to loosen up a little bit. Okay. So let's see here. We have 41 soulmates, harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results of each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them and sometimes by a strong version to them initially too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, Virgo, you will be changed in ways that you cannot possibly fathom. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. And then you have number 11 with by the book. Abiding by social rules, conformity, Respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, there's that rigid energy. For universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. So I feel like, because to me, universal by the book is more flowy than worldly by the book. There's something here that you're not seeing in regards to a possible soulmate connection where they're talking about every time we connect with um, another person, there's a, an element of both of us learning a lesson and gaining some type of spiritual wisdom and knowledge from experiences that we have with this soulmate or this person. Um, I feel there's something that you can learn by these universal laws, particularly maybe in the universal law of give and take. Um, that's just what spirit is showing me. It's almost like you need to, to, to know and understand something in regards to these universal laws to help you know and understand why what's taking place is taking place. And once you see that, you'll be able to not be so tight and rigid in a situation. And, and that's kind of where grace will step in, right? <clears throat> let's see here what happened for virgo what happened in this situation judgment yeah something has had to be released what's coming towards virgo 
forgiveness, the Ten of Pentacles. What is the intentions of this Ten of Pentacles, please? For Virgo. The star, Aquarius energy. What can Virgo expect from the situation? The Six of Pentacles, balance, give and take, giving and receiving. What does Virgo need to be focused on at this time? Page of Swords, and what is the outcome? The Knight of Swords. Okay, on the bottom we have the Five of Pentacles with the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords, and then the Hierophant. So it looks like you're going through a couple situations, maybe more than one situation with the same person, but there's a few experiences here um, that I feel like you're trying to figure out a way to make it work. You're trying to figure out the answer and how to put an effort or make it all kind of come together. Um, there may be more than one person involved in the situation, could even be like a blending of a family. And so that's what, you know, it's working together or building something with someone and it feels or felt like a lost cause. It felt like a lost cause because of this five of pentacles. Something was missing. Something was lacking. And it was making this relationship or this connection, it was making somebody feel like they were alone. Why is judgment here? Yeah, the Six of Swords. Something needed to be transitioned. Like it had to be go, it had to go, it had to be released. Because there was an, an element of just staying in a in a either a toxic cycle or staying in a situation that was bringing a lot of anxiety or stress, high level stress. And there's this desire to move out of that type of energy. Somebody could be moving here. Judgment in the Six of Swords for Virgo. Robbery. Wow. Somebody's trying to get away with something. There's a decision that has to be made. Wow, in regards to the ending of, of wow, could be the soulmate thing. There's a level of forgive, forgiveness that needs to take place. There may have been a third party situation here, Virgo, or how do I explain this? A compromising situation. Again, when I was talking about that lack or that emptiness, somebody was feeling alone. That's what that robbery card is representing to me here. Somebody felt like something was being taken from them um, or they were put in a situation that they didn't want to be put in. And so there's a need to release this energy or release a part of the situation to set yourself free. Love or logic, what am I going to do? Four of Pentacles twice. I feel like you fought a very hard battle between your heart and your mind over this. You don't want to let go of the idea of something. But, wow, could be dealing with a negative soul tie here. But again, I feel like you're being drained. Clarify, please, the Ten of Pentacles for what's coming towards her. The Nine of Pentacles, wow. So this situation, I feel something has been put on pause because there's now this heavy focus on self-investment and creating on your own. There could be some type of money or inheritance that's coming towards you, also an investment in terms of work that's, that's kind of piggybacking in. Again, I'm getting the feeling of somebody feeling alone in a situation where they shouldn't really feel alone because the ten of pentacles represents uh, a family and the nine of pentacles is independent on your own single doing it all you have success though that's coming towards you depression phobia paranoia marionette somebody's trying to control a situation that's what this ten of pentacles is and over here too, with the robbery. Somebody's trying to get away with something. And you may want to break free 
and kind of create and build some type of stability on your own because you feel as though somebody is operating or controlled by some type of addiction or demon that they can't get rid of like they're controlled by something negative here i want to know more about this ceremony card somebody's trying to control a situation that you're trying to break out of yeah divine timing in the world that's what it is whatever you've been praying for whatever you've been seeking guidance on or wanting to release yourself from it's coming virgo this is pretty deep this could even be a marriage it's something that you feel like you're stuck in and, and you're ready to walk away from but you can't walk away yet the intentions of it is the star you've got to go through it to understand it there's there's um a divine illumination that's going to be coming to you because of this situation. I also feel like whatever you've been hoping for and praying for with the star is coming through here to tell you that it is on its way. But you have to experience a certain situation in order for you to see clearly. That's what we're talking about with the universal law. Something's going to be shown to you. Yeah, seven of swords. Something that was hidden with the eight of swords that you couldn't quite clearly see. And then you have the queen of swords. You see what I'm saying? The focus changes. The clarity comes. The four of wands. Celebration. Something that was hidden right in front of you is about to be revealed. This may be intuitive as well. Like you felt this energy. You felt that something was hidden. You felt like you needed more information. Mm -hmm, bully. Gossip. Embarrassment. Man. What happened? This person may be a part of your family or you view them as family. And I feel like there's going to be healing brought to you in regards to you discovering the truth of someone's intentions. They could have been talking about you. This could be a family disagreement or this person was like family and they were, you know, gossiping about you, embarrassing you towards others here. But it's all coming to light. And I like the star because that lets me know that there is going to be um, a higher level of understanding and wisdom that is bestowed on you in this situation so that you can bring in healing and close it out. Yeah, new love. You're no longer going to let this situation drain you or take from you. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? For what they can expect? It's balance. Somebody will take accountability. This was a karmic lesson that needed to be had. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Things are starting to shift and turn in your favor, but it's all, it's all a process. It's all a cycle, right? And so balance is being restored, Virgo. Indulgence. The more you invest in self, the more you shift the scales on an uneven situation. Yeah, go. Whatever, whatever you're going through, whatever this experience is, you can expect a major shift in regards to how you invest in yourself or in your dreams and your goals as opposed to other situations. There's something here that helps you align more with your destiny, your purpose, Right, where maybe you were kind of um, stalling on certain things for yourself in regards to this connection or this this relationship, this situation. Yeah, wherever you were confused, wherever you felt like you couldn't let go or you couldn't fully see something. Yeah, it's like, I, I will be my own hero. <laughs> That's exactly what you do. You step away from something. You create your own alignment. You create your own balance, okay? That's why the Holy Spirit is saying, focus on the Page of Swords. Um, new information, new opportunities. You may see or hear something that provides a space of clarity in regards to a situation that you've been seeking guidance on. It's like I said about these laws up here. Um, whatever you discover, these new ideas, this new knowledge that comes towards you, spirits like allow it to integrate before you take action on it because then you have the Knight of Swords as the outcome. So whatever this new information comes your way, it creates an opportunity, yeah. 
the Ten of Cups. Spirit wants you to really take time to get to know what it is that brings you happiness, what it is that you want out of this life. What are you trying to, to create here? Are you operating from a higher space? Are you operating from a space of love, from a space of joy, from a space of grace? Fury. Or not. Yeah, hesitation. I feel like there's frustration in how something is not playing out the way that you wanted it to play out or the way that you thought it was supposed to play out. And the way Spirit is showing this to me is there's a hesitation to even move forward because it doesn't look like what you thought it was going to look like. But Spirit is saying it's not supposed to. It's going to look like what I know it should look like, right? This is the Most High communicating with you. And so you're confused about why certain things happen the way they happened. But the way Spirit is showing me is life is full of lessons. There's purpose and reason for everything. And there has to be this element of releasing some type of hold that you have on a situation here, especially with the Four of Pentacles, because it's making you mad. It's making, it's like driving you mad. It's driving you crazy. But this Page of Swords and the Ten of Cups, that's a very small and limited perception of happiness which makes sense then as to why anger is here it's like somebody's hesitating to actually be joyful and happy because they've been in a space of anger and frustration for so long so spirit's like i want you to pay attention to how you approach these these positive thoughts this positive vibe as opposed to how openly you may approach worry or fear yeah, pay attention to signs, divine communication. We're trying to help you here with the fool. We're trying to help you release some type of energetic baggage that is preventing you from feeling like you've reached a space of healing or alignment when in fact you already have, but your mind is telling you you haven't. All right. The outcome here is the Knight of Swords. What comes in with this Knight of Swords? The Five of Cups, then you have the Ace of Wands. I feel like there's truth or conversation. If not, it's a sense of clarity within one's own thoughts and heart in regards to losses and pains that you've gone through. Recognizing that nothing was ever truly lost, right? You, you can gain so much from situations um, should you just choose to see them in a different perception. What comes in with this Knight of Swords and the Five of Cups, please? Curse, hate, catastrophe, and misfortune, disturbance, and then justice on the bottom. There's definitely a karmic energy here that needs to be released out of a situation. And it's this low-level pain. It's this low-level um energy of of feeling as though i feel like it's just anger that something was either done to you or done against you or anger about the misfortune or anger about how nothing is going the way that you planned but i also see like i said this clarity that comes out of nowhere with this knight of swords also maybe pay attention to how you handle a situation that could come off as very um unfortunate here you have the queen of pentacles which is your energy and then true love uh, again the queen of pentacles is very very grounded very patient in her movements very um loyal to herself but also understanding how to remain calm in certain situations okay forgive me my cat just opened my door i'm so sorry as we come to the end Yes, my cats know how to open my door. <laughs> it's really bizarre. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and uh, take a deep breath. Think about the situation and or person that you're seeking guidance on. Again, there's going to be three piles, two cards each. You can pick more than one pile. You can pick all three. It's whatever your spirit calls you to do. All right, Virgo, unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve and stability this relationship can stand the test of time for pile number one. 
Very interesting. So with this, I kind of feel like this is a situation where you're going through an ebb right now and just kind of allow that ebb to flow because right now they're in a space of growing and learning, but it's like it can stand the test of time if you have patience. Pile number two, friendship. This friendship is leading to more mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. All right. And then pile number three, interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. And then you have longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. All right, Virgo, I'm sending you guys much love and I look forward to hearing from you.